God is everything. God is everything. God is something that a lot of us take for granted. Uh, I love the um, inflections in the Torah that talk about, oh, when you get big and you get successful, remember God. Because it's very easy for people to think, I did this with my gifts and my talents. And the origin of those gifts and those talents and the opportunity to expand them uh, is often forgotten. God is everything. God is the air we breathe. God is the ground on which we walk. It's the, your smile. It's, the, it's everything. God is everything. I'm not sure how I describe breathing. It's, it's as natural to me as breathing. I'm very keenly aware of if I get too far in my morning and I haven't said modani. Usually I say it before I'm even out of bed. And I'm one of those people who blesses everything. I understand blessings as being the conversation and the conveyance of those things that are in the realm of God that become part of our use. I, one of the first uh, blessings I learned that outside of synagogue, of course, was the Shekhyanu. And it's very easy to use that more than just a few times a day because there are so many wonderful things that happen. And the, whenever I start feeling glum and gloomy, I know that I'm not connected with that oneness of God. And I bring myself back to being present, to being mindful. I actually find it interesting that so many uh, people I know, uh, Jews and non-Jews, particularly, this is the conversation, is that our Jewish relationship to God, talk about how hard it is to be mindful when that is the purpose of all of these different blessings, is for us to take a moment and be mindful of that moment. So to appreciate the meal that is before us, the beverage that's about to enter our body, the company that we have, the children that we have, the ch friends that we have, the people who do nice things for us out of nowhere. It's an opportunity to say thank you for all.